One of the tools that appears to be straightforward and easy to use yet offers lots of features and allows for great creativity in generating various models is the Roof tool. In this video, we will discover three methods to model roofs in Revit along with helpful tips and tricks. So let's start. In Architecture tab, if you go to Build Panel, you can see the roof option in this part. If you open it, you can see different types of it. And first of all, we are going to try this roof by footprint. This option will allow you to create a roof based on your plan. In here, you need to first set the level, whether you want to create it in first floor, second floor or third floor. And after selecting one of them, you can continue with creating with drawing the roof. In properties section, you can see this basic roof is selected. If you open this part, you can see all of the other types of roofs that you can use for modeling. Let's see this one. If you go to edit type, you can see all of the layers, all of the materials and their thicknesses in this part. If you want, you can add new layers or if you want, you can delete them and change their material, their thickness and create the type of roof that you want. Before drawing the roof, let's go to option bar to check some of the options that we have in here. First, we have this define a slope. For each line that you create in here, you will have this option. If it is checked, that line will be a slope. If you want a flat roof, you can just simply uncheck it and then draw all of the lines without that. So the roof will be flat at the end. After that, we have this overhang. This is simply like an offset. I'm going to set it on 50 centimeter. And then if I draw a line in this part, you can see this offset in here. If I switch to pick line, I need to set it again. I need to set the offset on 50 centimeter again. And then I'm going to click on all of these lines like this. Perfect. Let's trim this part. And now you can see this triangle in here. If I select this line and then if I uncheck this define a slope, that part will be flat. If you want to have a flat roof, you just simply need to select all of these lines and then uncheck this define a slope for them. I'm going to select them again and then check this because I want them all to have the slopes. To control the slope, you can go to properties section and in this part, you can set the slope angle i'm going to set it on 25 for now because 36 is a lot so now i just need to click on finish and then this will be our roof i'm going to trim this part too and then it finished again now if we go to 3d view this is the roof that we just created perfect this is the roof and you can see this overhang this offset in this part all of the lines have a slopes. If you select the roof, you can change it in this part. Let's set it on 35. Perfect. You can also change them separately with these handles. Now they are in different heights and we cannot use this option in here anymore. Okay, the second way of creating roof is to use roof by extrusion. There will be some types of roofs that you need to model them with extrusion. So we are going to test this one now. I'm going to click on it and then we need to set the work plane. You can set it in here if you have created any reference plane before or you can just simply pick a plane. I'm going to click on here and then I'm going to go to this section that I have created before. In this part, you need to set the roof reference level and offset. I'm going to set it on second floor and with no offset. Then hit finish. After that, you need to draw the profile. You need to draw the extrusion. You should not create a closed loop. You just need to create the lines. So let's say in here, we just simply want to have something like this. That's all. You don't need to do anything else. Hit finish and then you will have the roof. Let's put them in a section box to see how it looks. Perfect. This is the roof that we just created. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. 
so we can see all of the roofs if you want to attach these walls to your roof you just need to select the walls like this with tab and then just simply use this attach top in here you can select between attaching the top or attaching the base because if you have a floor in here you can use uh, attach to base and then attach all of these walls to your floor but for a roof or for a ceiling you can use attach top and then just simply click on the roof click on the object that you want the walls to be attached to this is only one type of extrusion that i just simply created if we go back to edit profile in in here you can create curved roof too so i'm going to use this s line and then i'm going to create another simple shape like this let's play with it make it a little bit more interesting simply something like this and then you just need to hit finish again you see that all of the walls are again attached to this roof if we go back to 3d view you can see the roof that we just created and also there is an option in here we have an opening vertical opening if you want to create lightings on this roof you can use it i'm going to click on this vertical and then i will just simply in top view i'm going to create a rectangle in here and then if you hit finish that part will be empty and then you can create windows for that part or maybe you can leave it like this for some parts for some type of roofs you might need it in properties section you can control the extrusion even more for example i'm going to set the start on three meter and then i'm going to set the extrusion end on minus 15 meter like this and you know exactly how long is this roof also if you want you can change the reference level i'm going to set it on level 3 so it is up in here and all of the walls are attached to it again also if you want you can set an offset for it for example i'm going to set it on 80 centimeter and if you see it from this part you can see that it is changed perfect now the third way of creating roofs is to create roof by face this is for creating roof in mass environment so for this we need to go to file and create a new conceptual mass i'm going to select this one and now first we need to create a shape and based on that we are going to select and create our roof i'm going to create a very simple shape in here a rectangle in the center and then i'm going to select it and create a form based of it like this move it up i'm going to select the upper profile and then i'm going to scale it like this let me also move this point down and also these two points let me move this part up so we have a roof like this now we just need to load it into the project i am going to set it in here and let's also put it on a section box so we can see only this option perfect let's go to roof section and to roof by face and now you just need to select the roof that you want to create you can see that select multiple is active i'm going to select the face this part and then i'm going to just simply click on this create roof now you can see a roof with the generic roof that we just had before is created in here and if you select this roof you can like use these parts for creating some kind of offsets or overhangs and also if you go to this properties section you can change the type of floor for example let's change it to this one as you can see creating roofs with mass has no limits you can be as much creative as you want you can create anything that you need so after this you can just simply turn this mask off and then create some walls under this roof and then attach them to this wall as a bonus if you are still watching this video i'm going to share one more way of creating roofs 
If you go to architecture tab in this component, you can select this model in place. And in this part, if you scroll down, you can see these roofs in here. Not only you can use this extrusion, but also you can use all of these different types of forms and you can create exactly what you need you can combine them together you can join them you can create voids instead of openings i don't usually use this way of creating roofs because well it is a component and it will be hard to use later but if you have no other choice go ahead and use this component model in place create whatever type of roof that you want now that was all of the correct ways of creating roofs in revit I really hope it was helpful for you and if you enjoyed watching it, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.